Hi, today we're going to talk about activity tracking in Microsoft Dynamics GP and I'm running version 2010 release 2. I'm in the administration uh, view and under the setup portal for system I'm going to go down um, and select activity tracking. Now activity tracking is where you can monitor who's doing what within the system. For example, you notice we can track on logging in um, and logging out, and you could see the different kinds of activities that we can track, uh, track there are failed attempts, successful attempts to log in, and successful attempts to log out. We have access tracking, so we can monify, for example, if someone's going into a report writer. We have file tracking, so we can monitor uh, any kinds of additions, deletions, or modifications. And in this particular uh, scenario, I'm going to select that I want to track modifications to the master files, which would be our cards, and I want to track it for the Fabricam company. And then there's process tracking if it, for any kind of file maintenance or routines, and posting tracking, and I'm going to also track the general ledger entry there. And you'll notice it'll be set up for any of these users that I want to uh, select, or I can uh, do all users if I want to do all users. And so I'm going to just go back and make sure that I have them all set for the SA user because that's what I'm logged in as. And I'll click OK. So now let's go into General Ledger and make a couple changes. And now let's go in and make a General Ledger entry and post it. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say Test Activity Tracking. And I'll use my new account number. And then I'll also look up a sales account number and use that as well. A uh, little trick here, you can key in, I want to make that a debit, so I just made it a negative credit since that's where my cursor were, uh, was and it worked for me. And so let's post that. And close that out. Posting journals, everything as normal. Let's go back to the administration view and under reports, we are going to go to general under the system reports and we can track the activity uh, tracking detail. So nothing special, I don't have any kind of criteria selected within my option, so I'll just insert it and print it to the screen. And we can see my posting scenario here. Uh, we can see that uh, the document entry 3478 has begun posting and it finished posting and I can see time and date stamps as well according also along with which user. So let's close that out. Now you want to make sure that uh, you have plenty of hard disk space because remember for every transaction it's going to create a new record. If you wanted to remove some of that information you could simply come in here and um, under the kind of transaction you created you could select to mark all and select which companies remove report and it would remove the transactions as well. So that's how you would remove the transactions if you wanted to. Hope this helps. Thanks.